This Dynamite show was kind of weird. There was some great stuff on the show. There was some good matches. And there, and was, there was some, some weird some, stuff on the show. There was some... Um, yeah, I um, you know, it's very clear to me that they went from the idea of a four-way main event on the pay-per-view. To, it looks to me like it's going to be MJF and Darby in a singles match. That's the impression I got watching this. I show. mean, that's the impression. It's, it's you know, it, it'll be. It's technically it will be decided between Sammy Guevara and Darby Allen in a match next Wednesday, and the winner of that will face MJF unless they do something to somehow get Jungle Boy back. But it just seems like. Uh, you know, they they beat Jungle Boy. They did give an out, you know, because MJF interfered. So, like, you, if you had an authority figure or a commissioner, you could overrule it. And there was – I actually really didn't like the angle. Not so much – I mean, I don't care what they do as far as the match itself. But the key angle in the show was that MJF basically um, offered to pay Sammy Guevara – to go into the pay-per-view that he would help him win his matches and pretty much guarantee him getting into a main event at the pay-per-view where Sammy then agreed for a ton of money to lay down for MJF just so he would get his first pay-per-view. And so, you know, even though, like, if he does get there, which I don't think he will, you know, it'd probably be that swerve where he lays down and then kicks out and they do the match and everything like that. Um, But I just, man... I do you're not promoting a pay-per-view. If that's the angle that they do, you're promoting a pay-per-view with the storyline that the challenger is going to lay down for the champion in the main event. Now, fans are going to know that's not going to happen, but that's a pretty weird thing to well, advertise for your pay-per-view. Well, that's why I think it's going to be Darby. But yes. the thing is, is that um, I just don't like the idea of. You know, that you have a guy going for a championship, and instead of the championship, he's going to get bribed, and we're seeing the bribe. It's just, I mean, it's it's very, I mean, the, the, there was a lot of Tonight's show that was very WWF-ish, which is not necessarily a bad thing, because WWE, WWE, WWE does some very good things as well. But it did have that feel that it was a lot more, a lot more talking, uh, less wrestling, very WWE angle, some of which were good. But um, still a different feel. Um, but I didn't like. I did not like the idea of, of um, Sammy Guevara being bribed by MJF. Um, you know, I just felt watching it that it, you know, and then being his buddy and everything like that. That just felt um, made the championship look um, like n- not that important. You know, if the guy's out there and he's going to take a bribe to not to not really go for the championship but it has to make the championship feel you know it's like it's one thing if it was like a for a i don't even like a bribe for anything in 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 wrestling even as lax and you know and and non-sports as wrestling is you know but uh yeah i just was not not a fan of this at all of that that aspect the main event i was so disgusted why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? It's disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter- I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Yeah. Why do you hate about him? just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm-hmm. and by E. By E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.